This is Sean Cody, TexasGunTrust.com. Someone asked me how the mount on the Pulsar Core RXQ30V thermal imaging weapon sight works. So I wanted to show you all this. Push this button here. This little lever flips down. Do the same. This one flips down. And it should come off. Maybe I didn't got there. We didn't go far enough. So, you can see it's a very simple design. And there's the recoil lug. So, that's that. So, here's the Pulsar Core. This is the Core. Pulsar Core RXQ 30B on, on my POF P415. One of the entry things about this entry level thermal weapon sight, other than its price, is the 384 by 288 sensor that actually has a useful 50 hertz refresh rate. So this the other is the thing that Pulsar stands out about the Pulsar core. Pulsar core is the fact that it is light and Turn it's it small. It's a very compact unit. It only weighs 17 ounces. An interesting test of any thermal weapon sight is what it does on a hot day. I took some video through the weapon site at our 4th of July fireworks party with the kids. In this case, it's a hot July 4th evening and there's not a whole lot of temperature differential between the background, the concrete, and the people. So you can see their faces in this video. You can also see how hot the concrete is versus the grass. I had them what amounts to white hot for the pulsar unit. Here you can see the fireworks going off. You can see the kids. This is at about 50 yards. They're shooting sparklers there. The resolution is better when you're actually seeing it with your eye as opposed to trying to video it. That's one of the items or features that this unit does not have and that is a video out. This is a very simple unit. Well this is a basic unit. It's got a lot of features. It's got a lot of different modes that lets you tailor it for your environment that you're hunting or using it in. When I say basic, it's basic in the sense that it doesn't have a 12 micron BAE core or 60 hertz refresh rate. However, the amazing thing is it has a 50 hertz refresh rate, so you're not going to have a problem tracking a running animal. Overall, I think this is the absolute best entry-level thermal weapon sight that I've got my hands on. I think it's the most useful one of that class. I've been asked if the mount holds zero. I did some rudimentary testing on a six inch plate at 100 yards and, and it did it hold zero. And 10 yards I took the at scope the end. Off and remounted it. That really doesn't mean anything because it's a one time on off test on a six.